Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Byington, and in this video I want to start doing art descriptions that are based on paintings which correlate with my poetry, specifically poems from my chapbook titled The Absurdity of Origins, which is published by Dancing Girl Press in, in uh, 2019. I thought the best way to start going about that would be to start with the cover of the chapbook itself. So let's start with Pieces of Helen of Troy. Helen of Troy, originally Helen of Sparta, is the objectified victim promised as a prize in the judgment of Paris. As there are often various narratives of the same stories in mythology, it's typically described that Helen either consensually left her husband Menelaus upon meeting the Trojan prince Paris, returning to Troy with Paris, or she was abducted by Paris against her will. Many texts like Homer's Iliad and Euripides' The Trojan Women juggle these versions of her story as well, with Helen sympathizing for both Menelaus and Paris, Helen mourning the death of Hector and the fall of Troy, and even her experiences with the Trojan women who slut shame her. In Eva C. Kules' text, The Reign of the Phallus, she describes the split female psyche, a Hera Aphrodite complex, or also a binary of Aphrodite the harlot and an Aphrodite of universal love. Think along the lines of fertility. So not unlike Freud's Madonna whore complex or Gilbert and Gubar's angel and monster. One side is maternal and nurturing, and beloved, while the other is sexual and carnal and scorned. I feel Helen of Troy exemplifies those concepts, even as more than just two pieces of a whole. She is a manifestation of both the best and worst experiences celebrated and endured by women throughout humanity's existence. And this collective of feminine psyche represents the poems in my chapbook as not just personal or confessional, but fragments shared by all of us, creating the reality that we know.